Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about node presets. They're particularly useful if you ever have to recall node settings. And rather than having to type them in over and over again or change them manually, you can just call in a node preset. All right, let's jump into this. And I'm just going to create a color correct node on here. See here, default settings. Say you made some corrections, you know, whatever they might be. And this can be with any node. I'm just choosing color correct node. You can also use a grade node, or just as well. I'm not really aiming for anything in particular here. I'm just going to make some adjustments away from the original. We can see a change here. Okay, great. Say I like this. Maybe I want to use this for other footage I might have to work with later on. What I can do now is go up to this little wrench icon on the node, and I can save that as a preset. Now you can see I also have other presets already saved here. But if I go ahead and save this one, just to walk through the process, we'll take a look at that. So I'm going to save this. We'll give it a name. We'll say um, contrast or something. That's going to be the preset for that. So now if I look back under my presets, contrast is going to be there. Now these presets, they're saved in your .nuke folder. So under your .nuke folder here, they're going to be in the node presets. They already have some of that existing here. And they're basically on this top level, they're going to be inside of the user presets.py. So if I were to open that up, you'll see all those presets in there. Now the way to get kind of these subfolders, if I wanted to do that and kind of break them out in their own individual folders, is when you go to create or save the preset, save as preset, maybe give it a folder name, we'll call this a color correct for the node. And put a slash forward slash on there, and we'll call this contrast, we'll just throw the contrast in there. And create. So now I look under my presets here, I see I have a new user folder, and inside that user folder color correct is my contrast node. If I jump back over to my .nuke folder, you'll see that it's created my color correct folder from the node preset. So that's where you can find these if you ever need to edit those out. You can also delete them directly through here. You go to delete preset, we'll give it this color correct here. Contrast. Yes. I want to go back up there. It's not available for me. I the color correct over to this footage here. I'm going to go through some of those settings as well. See how they affect it differently. Saturation ramp, that one's mainly inputting expressions. So if you want to, if you have a bunch of knobs or nodes with expressions on them, it's a good idea to save it as a preset. So that way you don't have to go in and reset expressions on here for whatever you might be setting up. So these node presets you might want to just think of as like something like this. So that way you can kind of actually choose visually which kind of preset you want to use. Same idea that's going on here. We just don't have that visual representation. Let's go ahead and close these out. I'm going to show you one more example. I've also set up a shuffle node with some presets. I'm going to call it the shuffle node. Okay. So in the shuffle node, I have a few different presets. If we take a look at that right now. We'll see I have red, green, and blue. Basically what I've done is I set a preset for red so that way it shuffles all my uh, takes my red, shuffles it all out to RGB. And the same thing goes for the green and the blue. You'll notice I also included a postage stamp in this preset. So if I set this node up with the postage stamp turned on, anytime I recall it or go to the preset, it's going to retain that postage stamp option and I'll be able to see what that particular thumbnail looks like. There's another good use for presets there as well. And because these node presets are saved as user preferences, you can just go to the new node preset folder located in the .nuke folder. You can take any of these, save them to a central shared location, have another user pick them up, and the other user can take them, pop them into their .nuke folder, and they'll be able to use the same node presets that you have available to yourself on your machine. Now, because they are just user preferences, if you happen to be working with, say, Nuke Studio or Hero, any of the corresponding nodes that are also soft effects, you'll also have the ability to use those node presets in those programs as well. So I'm actually working in Nuke Studio. I'm just in the compositing workspace of it. Let me jump over to Nuke Studio. Here we have a finishing workspace, and here's our timeline. It's our shots. It's the same shot right there. If I were to add on the color correct soft effect, I have access to those node presets that were already set up. Let's choose line art. There we go. Same thing can be said though if I create any node presets while in Nuke Studio or Hero Workspace. Let's say crop 
we'll add a crop on here. Crop here, maybe we'll just bring us in. We'll save this node preset as letterbox. Now, if I were to create a new script using these soft effects, I was going to transfer over to the new script. Open that up. Here we have the color correct created and the crop node as well with the letterbox setting. If I were to create another crop node inside of Nuke now, I can access the same letterbox preset. There we go. So hopefully you have a new insight to presets if you didn't already know about them and maybe you'll use them in your future workflows. Thanks for watching.